So when you've got data in a spreadsheet, one of the things you may be concerned about is how best to organize that data. So here I've got some sample data that I found online. One of the main ways you're going to organize your data is to use column headers. Basically what a column header is, is it's a short description of what type of data is going to be found in that column. For example, this column will contain student names, their gender, their class level, their home state, their major, and any extracurricular activity that's listed. Now if these are not in an order that suits you, you can always click on a column, wait for the little hand to show up, grab the column by clicking, and then you can move that column somewhere else in that data. So that's one way you can organize the data. Another way, if you hit Control A, that will select all of the data. And then if you go to the data menu up here and click on Sort Range, click on Advanced Range Sorting Options. So if you click on that, the very first thing is Data Has Header Row. Great, we want to sort by the header row. So now instead of sorting by columns, we can just sort by the header row value, which could be student name, gender, and so on. And we can sort by whatever uh, we'd like to do there. So let's sort by major. So now the majors are sorted alphabetically. They're all grouped together. That could be useful. In addition, if we want to sort by majors, and then some other criteria, we can add another sort column, and let's say we want to sort by major and home state. We can do that, and then it will group majors together along with uh, people in the same state. So notice that these two people right here are both art majors from New York, a couple of English majors from California grouped together, and so on. Also, we can create a filter. What that does is that creates a filter at each column level, right? So if I want to sort of hide some of the data, then I can click on the filter, and then I have choices. Right now, everything is selected, uh, but let's say I only want to see people from Massachusetts, right? And then it will only show me people from Massachusetts, All right? So that could be a way to clear up the view if you're trying to analyze a lot of data or handpick. Uh, data that meets a certain criteria. 